With a little over two weeks left in the regular season, high school baseball and softball teams here in Flagstaff continue to fight for a playoff berth. Yesterday, the Flagstaff baseball team took on South Mountain, and the Eagles looked like they started to hit their playoff stride. Trace Anderson was on the mound for Flagstaff, and after South Mountain took a quick 1-0 lead, they lost it just as quickly as Flagstaff scored seven runs in the first inning. The Eagles kept putting runs up on the board, and a lot of it was because of stolen bases, which Flagstaff had a grand total of six stolen bases in the game. The Eagles' mercy ruled the Jaguars after five innings, 14-1. to And after the game, pitcher Trace Anderson talks about his pitching performance, and Parker Longfield talks about their upcoming game against Bradshaw Mountain. Uh, you know, it's just a team performance. I definitely had defense behind me today. We definitely just hit the ball a lot better than we have been as a whole team. Um, just had a lot more intensity in the dugout. We were definitely more involved. We just need to hit as a team, um, come together. We need to have a good defense, no errors. We know they're a good hitting team, so play the field well and swing the bats. And Tanner will be on the mound pitching, so should be a good all-around game if we can do all three elements. Today is Jackie Robinson Day, a day remembering Jackie Robinson's opening day appearance 67 years ago. And there are a couple of high school teams in action on this great day in baseball history. The Coconino Panthers baseball team was on the road earlier to take on Prescott. This game started at 345, and the last updated score I got on that game was 3-0 Coconino in the fifth inning. The Panthers need to get some rest because tomorrow they are right back in action against Boulder Creek on the road. And the Lady Panthers softball team was also in action earlier today. They hosted Prescott at home, this, and this game started at 4 p.m. This game just ended, and the final score of this game was 15-5 Coconino after six innings. Coconino's next game isn't for a while. They have to wait until next Tuesday when they host Tempe High School.